shooting with Ocean Networks Canada. This morning, we're at Clover Point in Victoria, British Columbia. Clover Point is well known to windsurfers and beach enthusiasts that like to look for marine animals on these rocky shores. When the tide goes out, small pools of water are left exposed that have many characteristic animals from the Northwest Pacific. These animals live together to create an ecosystem that's like a smaller version of the ocean we see behind us. Should we go see what we can find? Wow, do you guys see those green sort of blob-like things? Those are colonies of aggregate green anemones. These are most closely related to other animals like jellyfish and corals. They form a group known as cnidarians. Most sea anemones never leave the spot that they're in. They stay tightly attached to those rocks. Scientists call this being sessile. Most sea anemones have their tentacles nicely splayed out, ready to catch some predators. But in tide pools, when the sun is out, they can get really warm, and these sea anemones are much more prone to predators. By folding up into a tight ball, these sea anemones remain protected. These ones are green because they have tiny algae in their skin. This algae uses the sun's energy, like plants on land, to create food. In exchange for the food that the sea anemones are getting by these algae, they give them a safe place to live. This sort of relationship is called symbiosis, meaning that both animals benefit from living together. When sea anemones have their tentacles all splayed out, they're ready to catch their prey. As a fish swims over, they can shoot out these barbed cells and paralyze them. The sea anemones here, their stinging cells don't harm us. Our skin is very thick, but when you see those tentacles splayed out, let's not touch them anyways. The next time you're out tide pooling with your friends, be sure to watch out for those little green sea anemones. And let's see what you can find. This is Natasha Ewing, signing off from Clover Point.